What's going on YouTube? I'm going to fix the Audi today. It's the 2 litre TFSI. This one. Same engine you can find in the Golf GTR, the Seattle Leon, the Jettas and all of these cars. On this car I've got a hesitation when trying to boost and it's um, what I've found is a um, camshaft lob that runs off the, that the fuel, high fuel pressure pump runs off of and it's um, a bit worn because of a failed high pressure fuel pump follower so I'm going to replace the camshaft, the timing chain, the timing belt, the water pump and the gaskets and whatnot and hopefully we should better boost properly I've got someone that's already bought the car off me they've put a deposit down and um, I want to get my money so let's get it done so these are the parts I'm going to be fitting it's a new timing chain that's the um, the camshaft this goes into the um, exhaust cam I forgot what they call it now but something to do with VVT so it's like some sort of VVT cam the water pump camshaft timing belt kit um, I've got the um, rocker cover gasket there and the um, cam cover seal and um, indoors I think I've left the um, timing chain tensioner that comes with this chain yeah but the half of the advanced toolbox it's in a bit of a state but um let's see what i can do with it a bit out of the way this bit here that's really difficult you've got to get the engine jacked up as high as possible and then manage to maneuver it out that's just a little bit of a pain in the backside. So now I've got the timing. Oh man, what's it? Is it getting dark or what? A little timing belt all exposed. Yeah, you got to remove the um the tensioner to get the cover off as well. Hopefully this video looks alright. Doesn't look so good on the screen. Maybe it's a bit dark. So yeah, timing exposed. I've got to time this up now. Um, I haven't done it yet, but so you got a timing mark there. I think we've got to line it up with that. And then when we go down to the bottom, well, I can see that it's time that's been done before because we've got a bit of tipex there somewhere. So I'm guessing that it's had the time belt at one stage. I'll try and sort that out. Yeah, a bit of tipex and it goes just in line with that nut. So yeah, I'm going to time it up and I can um, remove the um, camshaft sprocket. Oh, it's doing the same thing again, isn't it? This camera is not that great, I think. And um, then I've got a special tool that will go between here. So then I can um, start taking the timing chain off. Alright, so today what I'm going to do is just get this camshaft out and then tomorrow I'll have the um, camshaft seal which I reckon, well, it's good to take it, get it out today because it probably needs to one for this side and one for that side I expect so yeah, I can take those parts with me and make sure I get the right one and um, you know, try my best to make sure I show you guys how to do the timing chain. I think there's a few videos on YouTube already 
on how to do that. Alright. Hey YouTube. Sorry about this sketchy videoing. Um so one night I cracked on with a job, it was quite dark and um I managed to get the camshafts in and stuff but I made a critical error and that was I didn't put the um tensioner in before bolting back on this um camshaft cradle so I'm gonna have to take it all out again fit this because um we all know about this bolt in here right you need a posi drive not a t55 to get it out and even if you have the posi drive sometimes it's still super difficult to um to get out so as I was changing the camshaft I was able to take the chain off uh, without actually undoing that bolt so that's why I can't just simply undo this again and um, refit the tensioner because I don't have a posi drive alright so I'm going to take this off again I'm going to have to clean up all the silicon that I laid down again and then reseal it so bear with me and this time I'll be able to show you um, how to um, time up this engine I mean it's, it's pretty easy you got to get this um, camshaft pulley lined up with this dots so then you know that's in the right position and then on this cam there's a dot on one of those brockets just there and it usually lines up with this little um, bolt hole there alright so let me get I think that's quite obvious if you guys can see this or if you can't see this there must be something wrong with you. This one is super round. This one's got the nice edges. Yeah, look at that. And that's where the high pressure pump would build its fuel pressure. So, it's time to faff about trying to get this right. Okay, um, I've got the tension up in place. Now I've got to try and get these gears lined up correctly so that it's in time again without removing this epoxy bolt in there. Alright, let me put this tripod down. Is like that my dot on my cam here should be around here so let's go again pop it up a bit. This might take a few attempts.
happen. I think that is right, man. I think this is one too far. It's hard to turn. I'm just gonna screw up a bolt, couple of bolts down. The dot is there. And that's in line. But it should be more like here. Let me see what it's saying on this side. So it's all bolted up and um, the tension is in. Um, the time marks look fine. I've got to put the camshaft seals in now. This is a bit of a no, no return zone really, otherwise it's going to cost me money. Because if I put this camshaft seal in and the timing's out, it's going to cost me. So I'm going to knock them seals in. And we can start um, doing the timing belt. So I'm fitting the timing belt now. I'm trying to catch it all in the bucket so I don't get any complaints from the neighbours. Yeah, so I'm doing it slowly, right into my little BNQ bucket. And uh, then I'll time the engine up. So I've got new pulleys and tensioners. Looking good so far. So I've got the timing belt on now. The bottom is maybe like a millimeter out. I can probably get that right with the tension in a minute. But it's all good. Chain wise. I'll make sure that dot is in the right place. And that dot should line up with that um, bolt hole. It's just quite close. Um, see, there's not a lot of tension in the chain at the moment. Hopefully that doesn't give me a problem later on. I'll be gutted if it does. So this is the um, cam chain cover, 
Um, you will be very careful when you fit these back in because these little um, seals, they're like um, piston rings. They break very, very easily. So you've got to try and square them up and then push it in straight. If you get that wrong, you're going to have to buy a new set of um, seals. I have broken one in the past and you definitely can get the seals separately. I um, can't remember the part number now, but I searched for them for a long time and I found them and TPS sell them. Alright guys, joys of working in the summertime, it's still light outside, it's getting late now, been at this for a few hours. Um, so the cover's back on, the pump's back on. This muzzle back in. No, it's gotta go back in. I don't know if it's the other way around. Seems a bit. It's got to be that way because the valve is that way. It'd be a bit pointless being the other way around, wouldn't it? It's weird that it hasn't got a seal on it. And then um, this little bracket back here, I kind of forgot exactly. Hello. Exactly where it came from. Or oh, how it. Bollocks. What's going on YouTube? So yeah, started again today. Imagine last night I was worried about the um, timing chain not being right. I knew I lined it up correctly, but there was a bit of slack right at the bottom that I wasn't really convinced about. So I was a little bit worried, but um, I started the car up to avoid embarrassment off camera and it runs lovely. So I'm just putting it back together now. Everything's gonna go back together. Um, just putting this engine mount back in, and um, then I'll put a tensioner back on and the auxiliary belt and the top cover, and then the engine cover. And then we'll go for a drive and we'll see if it boosts because that's what this repair is all about. Yeah, it was hesitating on the load, and I found that the um, camshaft load was worn, so I've replaced the camshaft and the timing has gone well so yeah I'm gonna go for a, a test drive soon happy days so far so the timing is all the timing what am I gonna try what am I trying to say the um crankshaft pulley is back on the um engine bracket is back on I put the um there's tensioner back on as well. So I've got an Allen key in there holding it in position straight through so that it's just gonna be nice and easy. I put a belt on and um nearly there. Here we go, all back together. Let's start this thing up. A few screws to go in, we light stream to go in and then the wheel to go back on. So let's start this bad boy up. On the button. So I expect it's like idling high because it's cold and whatever. Let's see. Yeah. So I want to get some temperature, it should drop. I see your camshaft. Looking good, man. Looking good. Um, I've got one bolt left over. Shame on myself. One leftover bolt. No idea. Something to do with this idea. I'm pretty sure, but 
looks and looks and looks. Anyway, see what happens. Yeah, the islands are dropping. It is sounding good. So pleased that the timing's right the first time. I'm so pleased. And obviously, um, a little noise. We'll see. We'll probably do with an oil change as well. This is a nice, a nice one, man. Ninety-three thousand miles. Good. Well, this has been my video of timing it up. Um, I'm going to take it for a test drive when I'm done and make sure it's boosting. And um, I'll let you guys know. Alright. Two beef burgers, cheese, bacon, and a rich and sticky barbecue sauce. The great American taste that's not available in America. Sorry, America. Thank you.